Sponsored by Nerd Coffin, Carrie Fisher, Limited Edition. Look at this poster. What a brilliant, brilliant poster this is. This is the best poster that they have released so far. Love this poster. Might be my favorite movie poster I've seen this year so far. Beautiful in its simplicity. But complex in its subtlety. Star Wars The Last Jedi. The official trailer came out today. Oh my God. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. This is a big one. Oh, wow. This wow. is big fucking news. Now that's a fucking trailer, man. <laughs> Reactions are coming in all over the internet from everybody. Lightsabers, trailers, posters, red, Star Wars, everything Star Wars. And if you hate the trick, I'm taking a bat to your house. <laughs> And just, I'm like blending into the background. You too. are. Red and red. Me, I'm a Jedi and I'm blending into the background. <laughs> and today's sponsor is Nerd Coffin. That's right. It's a coffin for nerds. Not those fake nerds out there. I don't appreciate the haters coming right out and telling me this trailer sucked. It's I, so I mean, easy for them to hate. I, I like, don't I don't get it. Go ahead and hate. Nobody's listening to you idiots, okay? Yeah. Just go ahead and hate. You fucking cultural appropriators. Oh, that trailer sucked. The trailer sucked. What do you want? You white jocks. Tell yeah. other people who care that it sucks. It sucks. We like it. We're always going to like it. It's <laughs> effing Star Wars, you dummies. Who fucking used to push me around at school and knock me down? Go away. Go home. Okay? Yes. Don't come to me and say it sucks. I love Star Wars. I'm wearing a goddamn Star Wars shirt for... St Don't just say it sucks. You suck. Granted, I just became obsessed with Star Wars, what, like a year ago, thanks to all of these nerdos. <laughs> You're but welcome. I'm so freaking obsessed. And let me tell you guys, I have a lot to say about this trailer. So many Easter eggs, so many little details. I've gone through the trailer and I've analyzed almost every second. I thought it was an interesting choice right away to start in the dark and then just fly into the light. This is Ray getting in tune with the Force. Uh, Luke helps her reach out. You get the Man of Steel shot here from uh, Zack Snyder. Oh, wait, Ryan's, uh, this is Ryan Johnson shot still. And I think that's uh, Mon Calamari in the back right there. Uh, hit me up with an arrow there. It's something new that's introduced, but that looks like Ray's hand throwing you into dark. It, it starts off with darkness, throwing you into light. The the poster of the, the blue going up until the red, it's it's, it's a mixture with the, with the red on top, the blue on the bottom. It, there's a, there is Luke. This Christmas, I, it's this stupid font. This Christmas, right after that, and here's Poe running through the hallways with BB-8, and we're back to the Millennium Falcon. I think that she is running towards Kylo Ren right there. Now, I don't know if this is the exact battle and trying to rebuild the order. I think we'll find that out. I think we're going to find out that he's rebuilding the order, and all these things are kind of... It's time for the Jedi to end. All right, that's, that's the trick right there. This is a different Star Wars movie. That line alone <laughs> told me so much. We're not going to speculate, but really, I think Luke Skywalker is going to die, and uh, Rey is going to be the last Jedi. <laughs> I feel like this is the time for people who are not on the Star Wars bandwagon to get the hell on. <laughs> We're in such an awesome, magical time of Star Wars, and it's incredible. And <laughs>